This is a one terabyte Lexar micro SD card. You see it's a U3 and an A2. Now that tells us that this is a fast card. This is the card I use in my device and this is what I'm gonna show you how to get working today. Uh, several people have commented that they don't know how to do this and uh, it's really more of a Windows thing so why not give it a quick tutorial. So I'm using this in my device but we're not gonna delete that because I already have data on it. So what we're going to do is use this other card if I can get it to focus. Um, which is just a smaller 32 gig. It's U1 and A1. That means it's slower. You really don't want to use one like this for gaming uh, or you'll notice performance issues. So we're going to use that today just for this demonstration. So um, first thing you're going to need to know is you have to put it in the right way. There's the front, which you just saw, and then there's the back, which has uh, the gold um, pins on it. So you want to put it in with the front facing you and we're just gonna push down on this, assuming I can get it to go in there. And uh, you can just use your fingernail, and if you don't have fingernails, use something simple like tweezers or you know a coin, whatever you need to just kind of push it in there. You should feel it click, and then you know it's ready to go. So you probably noticed I put that in, and it doesn't look like it did anything. It didn't pop up, it didn't tell me it was working. There's no notification on screen that the device was even put in there. So with that being the case, we're gonna go look at the PC, which all we see here is the uh, two terabyte drive that I put in in another video. If you wanna check that out, please go uh, look at my channel. Uh, but that's the only thing showing up. This new drive, 32 gig drive, just doesn't even seem to exist as far as Windows is concerned. So we're gonna cover how to make that show up and how to get it working, regardless of what drive you have. Now keep in mind, if you've got a slower drive, you're probably not gonna see the performance you expect. So in this case, we're gonna to have to use a utility called Disk Management. So if you right click on your little Windows button here, you're gonna see the Disk Management option. So that's where we need to go. But I'm using uh, a, a nice dock, and it's easier to do for my keyboard and mouse. If you don't have that, you have to hold down on the Start menu and it will act like a right click and bring up the menu. So then you'll choose disk management from here. So anyway, that should bring this up and uh, we'll go ahead and maximize the screen just to show you what we have here. So uh, you can see that the main disk is the 1863 gig. Uh, it doesn't say 2000 even though it's a two gig drive because hard drive manufacturers and Windows calculate drive sizes differently. Uh, hard drive manufacturers calculate 1000 kilobytes um, and whereas uh, Microsoft calculates 1,024 kilobytes. So that's why you see differences in drive size when you get a new drive. Uh, you're not getting ripped off, it's just how it's always been. So you can even see on this 32 gig, it says 29.72 gigs. So that's, that's normal, so don't worry about that. Um, and you see right here, it says we've got a healthy partition. It is healthy, this came out of my Steam Deck but it's not a partition that Windows can work with. It has to be put into its own format to make it work. Up here you see this one is one we can work with and you see it has C colon on it. That means that's the C drive, that's your main drive. Uh, so that's why we can access that. We need to get this other drive the same way. So first thing we do is delete this healthy partition because it's not a Windows based partition. Just hit yes, give it a second, and then we'll see that that uh, uh, deletes itself and then you'll see basically the free space. So you see now we have an unallocated drive. So at this point we have to create a partition on this drive. Uh, and you don't have to know what all these terms mean, you just have to kind of follow the steps. So click a new simple volume and so we're going to hit next and then this is going to basically set you to the max size whatever your drive is. You don't really have to modify this, just hit next on it. The next thing you're gonna do is assign a drive letter. So you saw a C drive here. Uh, you wanna know what the next drive is. It's gonna be whatever you set it to here. So typically that gets set to D, um, but you can set it to anything that you want. So you wanna set it to maybe S, then you could set it to S for, um, uh, uh, for, well, I guess I could set it for an M, but we'll go ahead and set it to S for uh, SanDisk is what I was thinking. So um, we're gonna ask to format it. There's FAT32 and NTFS. FAT32 is basically, it stands for File Allocation Table 32-bit. Uh, so you don't have to know any of that. I'm just giving you a quick history. Um, the other thing that you would set it to is NTFS, 
which is what we're going to set this to. So this is NT file system. It's just Windows lingo and it tells you how to communicate with the drive. So we're going to give it a volume label here um, and we're actually going to have to go through this process twice but we'll just call this games. You can call it backup or whatever you want. Uh, now you're going to see this checkbox for perform a quick format. You're going to hit that, click next, click finish. This is just kind of confirming all the details. Now this unfortunately doesn't format it. It's kind of strange with these micro SDs. So it's saying I see a D drive, uh, but it's still, even though it looks like there's a D drive, it's not going to work. We're going to format it again. So if you click on it, it's going to pop up and say, we need to be able to format this drive in order to use it within Windows. So really the same process we just did, uh, but it works when you do it this second go around. So a um, little blurry there, but basically hit yes, format disk. Okay, so now you can see we have options for different file systems again. We're gonna go with NTFS again because that's what Windows uses. If you wanna use something outside of Windows, you'd probably use FAT32 or XFAT. So volume label, name it games again, give it the quick format and hit start. This should only take a few seconds and then it'll make the drive usable within Windows. See, we've got format complete, hit okay, close out of this. Now we can click on our new micro SD card. It acts as a drive, it's empty, and now you can use this in your system to store games, videos, whatever you want. Uh, but keep in mind that you'll have to name it, you'll have to point to the drive. In this case, we used an S, but whatever you used, you'll need to use that when referencing storage on this drive. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.